gaskets. These right here, this gasket material right here is about 30 thousandths or so thick, somewhere in that ballpark range. The easy way to, to cut these gaskets is that right there, if you're looking across through yonder, that's about three inches, so you know it's it's the same all the way around right yonder. It's about three inches, so you know you're going to need about three and something extra. So what you do is on your material, just kind of lay out uh, a little more than three inches. You know, just get her done. Just get her done. Run that right across yonder, that right across there, and that right across. The easy way to make these gaskets is as such. Just kind of center that gasket right on that. We're going to use this right here as the die, and you don't want to be aggressive with your hammer on this surface right here. All you want to do is to penetrate the thickness of the gasket material. Kind of center that up so you'll have excess all the way around. Take the hammer and go right around the outside of that right there. Ever so gentle, but with intent. You need to know for all of your hammer blows are going to end up and you only want to go around the amount that it takes to cut the gasket free when you did that you got this little circle right here that you cut away from there now you have a perfect you have a perfect remember that word write that down you have a perfect fitting gasket up to this point. The next thing you want to do is the bolt holes. They need to be equally as precision. You cut that free, put that down in there for that alignment pin, come on the opposite corner and you raise that up so you see about where your hole's at, and then when you make your first blow, and you see I am using the peen end of the ball peen hammer, you use this to cut that away, and you use this to cut that away. Just, just enough to cut the material free. At that point, you punch the little wafer out, put that in there. Now you've got two alignment pins in there. You can proceed. with the other two holes. All of these gaskets, the procedure for making them is the same. You just you just just knock her out there. Just cut her off. Now at this point most of y'all most everyone would be tempted to go ahead and cut the outside edge away and, and just don't do that. Do not cut the outside it cut them proud and once you get it put together then you can trim that away per, for a perfect fitting gasket. Now you say okay you got to have that gap in there for the gasoline mixture and you're correct and it will be right yonder at the top that's where you get your fuel in yonder. If you use this gasket like this here your engine won't run. So we got to cut that little fella away. Put that back in there so everything will stay in line. Bring out some other source so you can get up close and what you want to do is just to make an imprint okay now we've got the pattern onto the gasket so we take that back up off of there and now we've got that pattern right yonder where we cut that away now we get the precision instruments out in this case a 99 cent pair of scissors and where that imprint was at, you cut that away. Now we've got a perfect fitting gasket. Now, you put that back on yonder and turn that around there. Y'all see that? You're ready to use. Y'all see it? Ready to use. Always make sure that that hole up there is open and to the top. Open it to the top. Now, in one of the first videos, I said you couldn't get these wrong. Well, 
once on the last video when we start this engine up I will go back and recap some possibilities and this is uh, this is not one of them the cylinder is not but the gasket is this gasket will actually you can install it in any position it, it lines up as far as the bolt hole so you can get it entirely upside down it lines up so that is one of the items that you do have to get in alignment or get back in the correct position or the engine won't run the next project is I need several of these exhaust manifold gaskets and this here's the remnants of the piece of gasket I had to and the way you do this is pretty much the same thing and I know if you've had one of these hammers here for all of these years and you never did know what that little thing up there was for well now you do just get your little ball peen hammer out there get you a piece of gasket material and I do advise not to be using no cornflake box they just will not work if you're going to paint something if you want something airtight professional job go buy you some professional factory made gasket material but to make these manifold gaskets is as such see that little imprint there that's all you need to get that out of there you bring that out like that now this particular one right here is threaded and I do want a real good fit and you may wonder how come I'm not using the manifold to make the gasket well you see how big that hole is right there 20 is the thread so if you make the gasket to fit that right down there you'll have a lot better fitting gasket so anyway you put one of them in there to secure the location of that one so you don't have to worry about that one no more now you just go ahead and knock this one out so you will have two holes in the correct position there the little thing fell out okay now you put this right back on yonder you put that bolt right down in there of the correct size and that one right down in there okay now that's in a perfect alignment right now now the next thing we need to do is to cut the inside of it out so you just go right around yonder you do not have to order these gaskets from some foreign country just go up there to your local parts store buy you a roll of gasket material and come home and make them okay now we got the perfect hole in yonder i mean that's that cannot fit any better these can't fit no better these can't fit no better at this point i do usually leave my gaskets proud and trim them off but you can't get a blade up in there and do much good on that one so in this particular case right here you can go around yonder and just make you a nice uh, print, a blueprint. Just uh, just follow the edge of that around yonder. And when you take that back off of there, you'll have a die line in yonder. At that point, all you have to do is to take the scissors and trim exactly along that shadow line that you just made that imprint just go right on around yonder right on around these gaskets right here from Maytag are notoriously being different meaning that you can put that gasket right yonder and you see we got the perfect fitting gasket right there okay when you put it up here they very seldom ever well that one right there really actually matches for a change uh, most of the time they well that one it's a little more flange over there usually uh, the one part of this one won't fit the other part of the other one but the gaskets will be the same they were all die cut from the factory exactly alike but there was a lot of overhang so anyway, that's a simple way to make a, uh, a flange gasket.